team, boy! You are there, boy! Welcome back to the 3D series, then. You missed me, Bart. Oh, uh, yeah. Like uh. a bear of a sore head. <laughs> <laughs> right, so kickstarting this one off at the wonderful Todd Bar Man Topper Manor. Topper Manor. Topper We're at Todber Manor Fisheries. Todber Manor Fisheries. You are. I followed a few tractors here this morning. <laughs> you did, yeah. <laughs> so Bart got caught with the tractors. I got up a lot earlier than you. I was here waiting in the car park while she was still sleeping. I had the old snooze button flying a treat this morning. Like, <laughs> no, mate. Oh, it's ideal. <laughs> so, right, let's get on with things then. So the concept behind the 3D series is you guys get to choose what baits we use. So the person that's won these this bait in front of us in a minute is martin coleman so martin's obviously commented on the last 3d series of what bait he would like us to use you've got to choose three different baits ideally a hook bait something else and something else yeah three different products three different products yeah and uh yeah martin coleman you've won this one we will message you and this will be sent out to your house so what lake are we on all right so uh yeah we're on big haze and yeah, it's looking pretty decent to be fair we've had a little walk around there's quite a busy few... isn't it yeah it's busy but mm. um well to be honest the we've seen three people catch this morning and two out of them three people are already using dna yeah, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> ideal. Ideal, yeah. Yeah, yeah um yeah so we've had a walk around we've seen a couple of fish caught um we are going to have to wait a little while to get in a swim yeah. we've just yeah we've just rocked up like normal um Typical you know, day to get that. Yeah, day, but you know? it's, 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 it's one a, of them things, unfortunately. You know, you yeah. just have to punish a few people, wouldn't you? To, oh, yeah, uh... you do, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, uh, yes, yeah, so we've had a wander around, seen a few fish caught. Uh, we're going to wait a little while to get in half decent peg where they seem to be getting caught from. But we have we've had a little walk on this M bank, and there seems to be a couple of fish, seen a couple of fish cruising, seen a few blowing up. So, what we're going to do is open these boxes and then probably just just sneak a couple of rods out lime on the floor or something for a few hours before we can move. Yeah, it's not um, till five o'clock, is it, them guys are moving? So we're yeah, going to spend yeah. the day pretty much in a swim, which is just in front of us. The beauty of most of these lakes, you can park behind most of the swims, guys. Yeah, is yeah, that yeah. right? Short walks, quite easy, nice access. So, um, yeah, really comfortable fishing, to be fair. Uh, the lake itself that we're fishing, Big A's, is actually, I think, if I'm correct, I think there's around 800 odd fish. Wow. Uh, maybe 850 carp. A lot of those are 20 pound plus. It's got a good, real good head of 30s as well. Um, and I believe that there are two, possibly three 40 pounders in here now Is as it? well. Yeah, oh, well, one of them's a uh, one of them. They call it the white lady. Is it like real nice ghosty? Uh, so that'd be a nice. Is that turn such a thing? Best. Is it? What's that? A nice ghosty. A nice ghosty. A real nice ghosty. A real nice ghosty. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Way, if you like ghosties as well. That's saying that, I've never caught a big ghosty. I've always wanted to catch a big ghosty. Well, you wouldn't like a 40 pound ghosty? Yeah, I'd love a 40 pound ghosty. I was just wondering if there was such a thing as a nice ghosty. Anything 40 pounds nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, without a doubt. So, uh, yeah, no, I'm looking forward to this because there's fish in front of this swim. This looks good for a day bite, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think I think we might get a couple of chances here, and then yeah. they'll be gone. I think. Yeah, it's not, it's not really a night zone. So that area, that that area that we've bucketed, um, definitely. True day ticket fashion. Yeah, yeah, looks like a decent night morning zone, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that over there. Right, should we have a look at what's in these boxes? Let's open them up. Right, oh well, first things first, we've got five kilos of 15 mil bug. Good Ideal. Job. Good job we didn't order freezer bait, otherwise it would have been gone off in the box. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the box. it's been warm, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so that's <laughs> ideal. So yeah, 15 mil bug, five kilos of that. Again, Martin Coleman, this is obviously what you've chosen. What else have we got? We've got a kilo of uh, beta stim pellets and some milky malt uh, 10 by 15 wafters, which is, to be fair, like, Perfect for air, isn't it? Yeah, like. But well, you fished here quite a bit. I've never really fi I fished. No, I've once, only, I've I fished here. I fished here a couple of times. Yeah, no, the last time I fished here was with you. Oh, was it? Down there. When I, I battered you ago. by three ounces. <laughs> yeah, yeah. By bounces. Three ounces. <laughs> Me and Mozzie <laughs> had a competition on the other lake, and uh, I just put it out there. <laughs> clattered in by. I think it was five ounces, actually. Was it five you? ounces yeah. you beat me by? Yeah. Wow. Unbelievable. No. You were cheating anyway. You were, no, you were in the flyer. I was in the flyer. We were in the same peg. Yeah, but you were on the flyer side. Uh, yeah, I was on the flyer side, if you want to call it that. So yeah, no, this is perfect for a venue like this. This should yeah. be all we need. And there are like these 15 millers, 
So there are quite a few bream in here. Is um, there? I love the bream. You didn't tell me that. Oh, why did you think I wanted to come in? Yeah. <laughs> no, no they, they've, they've removed a lot of them by all accounts, um, but there is the odd one. So the fishing is actually really nice, simple, basic fishing, like 15, 12, 12 or 15 millers that a lot of them are using, catapulting a few boilies, fishing with stringers or little mesh bags of boilies with just like a little boilie with a little topper or something. Um, really nice, simple, easy carp fishing. Yeah, so this is the this bait is actually yeah, like, it's all right for, for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it looks so, ideal. So um, and you have got the few small pellets there. So if we want to fish a solid bag to one of these islands or something, or a little mesh bag just in the edge, then um, there's yeah. quite a bit we can do with that. Yeah, you know. yeah, that's ideal. Well Sorted. Done. Right. Well, well done, Martin Coleman. And like I say, if you want to decide what baits we're going to use for the next one, just pop them in the comments below, and someone in the office will choose. Uh, who the winner is. So again, well done Martin, and uh, should we get some rods sorted? I think so. Hmm, looking forward to it. Right, let's go. My box there, mate. Get off my box, Lee. Yeah, out of it, you go. Right, well, just getting the first rod ready, and oh, it's quite as possible, mate. Just gonna go in with a little mesh bag with these beet stem pellets and a wafter, milky malt, the older dumbbells that were obviously in the box. Gonna go in with one of them as well. You know, just trying to buy a bite in here, really. It's pointless sort of pummeling in loads of bait will no doubt hurt Bart the fact that we're not doing that because I know that's what he loves doing but yeah I think we're both both going to go in with a fairly similar approach just sort of little mesh bags I think just try and buy that quick bite is the aim of the game today definitely so there's my little mesh bag there there's my little wafter rig there the old milky malt dumbbell on it through the center here. Always be mindful whenever you're doing these little mesh bags that you don't pull it, pull the hook bait into the knot. So I just basically pull it so it's in the center of the bag. Some people sort of, I've seen people mask their hook point with a knot and that's not ideal really. You want to sort of do it in the center of the bag. Unfortunately I've split that bag, which isn't the one. But that'll be fine anyway. So, little mesh bag like that. Doesn't look pretty, but don't need to. Just lash that out into the pond, and that will be fine, so. Right, who's, for the day trip, to day, tripper, day, day tripper, who's going left and right? I'll tell you what, if you pick the stone, you yeah. get to choose. So whoever don't get the stone chooses. All right, cool. To be honest, it's fishy either side, isn't it? I'm bothered. That hand looks bigger. Oh. <laughs> I always lose it. Uh, let me see the stone. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I got the stone, right. Pick the stone. To... I knew that was coming. <laughs> That's a text for it. in the book. <laughs> get the stone, pick your, pick your sight. Oh, get you. That's all right. I'll, I'm happy either side, honestly, I am. So, um, <coughs> where are you going there, mate? Oh, I don't know. There's a few fish there yeah, on the top there, but they've been this side, haven't they? Don't I would try have and chosen put me off. Don't try and put me off. <laughs> Ten hours later. I'll go this side. You're going on the right? Oh, yeah. Sweet. I'm going on, on the, the left. Right. Then. You're on the left there, everybody. Yeah, well, my boundary's over there, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Right, wicked. Let's get some rods out. just jumped out his skin thinking that we'd had a bite on one of the rods. Which isn't the case. 
Although maybe one of them tufties had picked us up. No, sure ever rods then. Sure ever rods got Look, your line's going over here now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're in. <laughs> that was one of the two. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, ideal. Well done, Bart. I was just Thank about to give him a load yeah. of abuse, saying, Bart, you're losing your mind. You don't know what you're talking about. And, uh, yeah, it was the other rod. Nice, nice. Um, Bart, could you reel this doodar in for us? Because I'm now... What's he done? Oh, he's under. There we go. Ideal, nice. So there's us just sort of saying that it didn't really fill the one, etc., etc. But you were chatting absolute rubbish. I was chatting rubbish <laughs> here, <have> I? <laughs> Ideal. Good skills. Good earring. Some some ears of yours, isn't it? Yeah, he's beautiful. <laughs> he's uh, obviously had the stone ping off of the old clutch and there's a couple of tufties out there and I thought oh no nah, tufties picked us up definitely but no it's a carp nice nice so we were just saying weren't we it was like oh have we not like just yeah it yeah here? yeah because it's not looking as good as what it was is it no. at and all so this is the one off the island isn't it it's yeah. one over to the left there yeah where we saw that swell yeah so I had a rechuck on this rod earlier on and um and yeah, I'm bloody glad I did now because we had it. I had it only sort of halfway out to the island at first. Wiping you out, wiping you out, but no, where's he going? Don't go that way. Right, Bart won't cook me tea otherwise. Cook me tea. <laughs> you are. <laughs> I don't think he's very big. He's banging. His head's banging around. Although lead would have stayed on no need to lose the leads oh, this would be nice to get in get this first one in that would be ideal wouldn't it go on the cod go on the cod well, he's putting up a good count for himself under the rod tip and he there it is. on the little mesh bag oh, it's been ages since i've used a little mesh bag of pellet fishing and all that it's something you use all the time though really isn't it for your most of your fishing a little, little mesh bag of pellets pellets it's been a while since i've used that you could have swooped that <laughs> knock him off me knock him off there me knock him off me like slicking up down there. He'll just swim in there in a minute, just bored to death. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. He's in there, well done. <laughs> Milky malt for the win, indeed. He's pretty one. A kid. Get out, boy. Sorted, sorted, sorted. Good skills. Beauty. Nice. That's a ghosty, that's a 40 pound ghosty. No. <laughs> no, mate. <laughs> Go on, the boy. Right, well, we've only just landed mine. I'm just quickly sorting a rod out. And you've only just rechucked this, haven't you? Did you just Yeah, literally. i just seen a couple of bubbles coming up off the island. I just whizzed well, it where, out. Where, where I had my bike from. No, mate. No, mate. <laughs> yeah, wicked, wicked. Nice. Yeah. Kicking off, kicking off. That's nice just it's to get a spell, it? Well, it is a bit of a ghosty. Right, I'm going to let you land this fish. I need to get a rod in the water, but no rod. I've got one on a pontoon. All right, it's not, it's not like... It's not like the World Championships. <laughs> Do you think ghosties... I think ghosties are angry. They are angry, aren't they, ghosties? What are you doing? I'm moving your rod out of my way. Do you need a hand net? No, I'm fine, thank you. Do you want me to get you some minerals out of the uh, van, mate? No, I'll just have a pint of man up. <laughs> oh, mate, he's a belter. Mate, he's like, oh, look at you putting it round his dorsal. Noddy. You are a noddy. Mate, that is an absolute belter, that. Get him in the net. Get in your basket there, everybody. Oh, mate, he's wicked. Come on. Yeah, 
Yes. Oh, Cheers, Mars. Good skills. Oh, mate, that'll do. Yeah. Good view. Oh, mine's heavier than yours. No chance, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about that for a start? Absolutely. Wicked, nice. Little flurry of action there, eh, Bart? It seemed like the peg just sort of dwindled away a little bit, and then yeah. all of a sudden it's like they sort of settled down, and then wallop. Nice, nice. Yeah, talking but, of ghosties. I've had a ghostie. Yeah, I know. Bart's on a ghostie, so I'll, I'll have to catch that big one tonight <laughs> then. Definitely. But he's awesome. Wicked. Yeah. That is a lovely car, that one. Nice 20 pounder. Yeah, definitely. I reckon this is easily a 30. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, wicked. Right, um, so yeah, nice start to the, the day trip in this peg, just with the rods lying on the floor. Fingers crossed, there's plenty to come tonight when we move swims, hopefully. Yeah, nice just to uh, nick a few bites before we uh, get ready for the... Big carve up. Big carve up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wicked. Right, let's get a couple of snaps, send them on their way. Ready? Spawning. <laughs> yes, Bob. Just want to set one out. Oh, well, this weather wasn't in the script, definitely not. And this little bay in front of the island swim that we're fishing for the day is looking worse and worse as this weather increases sort of thing. It wasn't meant to rain at all. I don't know, I don't know why, where this has come from. It was lovely and sunny this morning. It's gorgeous, but one of them things, just chomping it a bit, a little bit more now to get in them swims around there ready for the night zone to be honest, but you know, it's bad etiquette going round there and you know, getting all your kit out and hurrying them up, up out of the swim. Probably got another two hours left here. Bart's just gone for a little trot round. So there's another swim round the corner that's very similar to this. And he's gone for a look round there, but I don't think he's seen anything. He's gone up to probably punish the lads to get out of their swim. <laughs> so, yeah, he's just round there at the minute. It's all very quiet in here at the moment. Rain's not ideal. It's not looking great in this bay anymore. So definitely up for the move at five o'clock. So I've just had a walk. You know, like the swim's gone a bit stale. Like it just looks, well, it doesn't look very good. Like where we were seeing a bit of activity at the start, um, seeing like the odd fish sort of swirl or, um, actually seeing the fish just cruising along when that sun was out earlier seems to have like fizzled out a bit and I think because we've caught a couple I think they just know it's just typical like you know it's just typical of a small water they as quick as they can turn up in that area they can be just as quick to uh to do the off but I've just walked around literally to the next peg and just two rod lengths out in front of the peg there's just a group of fish just sat there so I'm going to buzz these rods in here and I'm not going to drive around there. I'm going to leave my van here. I'm just going to walk round because they're really close in. They're not like here where they're out by the island. Around there, they're literally like two rod lengths in front of the swim. So I'm just going to grab a couple of rods and land in there and I'm at, and I just go around and just see if I can literally just, just sneak them in and just see if I can nick another bite over there. Um, yeah, but I'll get on with that. didn't take long did it literally done drawing that little bag out yeah 
could just see the old shadow real deep. You couldn't see them naked eye. You had to have Polaroids on. But, um, yeah. Just had a feeling worth a move. Literally, that was like a couple of minutes. Yeah, nice. Just shows, like, so easy on day tickets just to fall in that trap of just plotting up making a load of noise especially these swims are all gravelly it's only a small water being a bit mobile it's definitely definitely out oh my god that was an absolute disgraceful piece of netting Well, there you go number two for me that's ideal literally just had a little wander up seen a few fish floating about they were you know they weren't on the surface they were pretty deep but you could just make out the shadows with the uh with the polaroids when i got the rods walked up here and genuinely three minutes and this one's gone so yeah never be complacent as always Always a few fish about, you just got to find them, get a rig on them. Yeah, little bag of uh, beta stim micro pellets and half a little wafter for the win. Yeah. That was a nice little day session. Let's yeah. go home. <laughs> Cheers. Um, is that done? Yeah, no, it's been all right really. Like, to be fair, it's been pretty textbook hasn't it like, yeah as so far turn up. careful though yeah <laughs> here we go storm's coming <laughs> yeah. yeah no we've turned up found a few fish like couldn't get a deep you know couldn't get like where well i say decent peg we couldn't get where the majority of the fish are being caught yeah where we as of late be, yeah. and where we've been told to go or like recommended um we're told the corners had no fish in. Yeah, and the only place we've seen any fish are in the corner. In the corners. So what we're going to do is going to pack up from the corner and move to where we haven't seen anything. <laughs> well, that, they've definitely not in that swim anymore that was no. around there. So I stayed there. You've obviously moved round to here, haven't you? And yeah. nab one quick. Like, yeah, I've just snuck round, nicked another bite, and um, and yeah, that's good that. Skills, good skills. Right. So now we are on the move behind us. So the swim behind us has now become yeah. vacant. So, so we're going to double up in there. Yeah, and I don't know about you, but I'm absolutely starving. You're always hungry. And I sent Mozza a visit video uh, on uh, Saturday. I went to the butcher's and I got like big T-bone steak and told you it was real nice burgers dinner. and a ribeye steak and that. <laughs> and uh, yeah. yeah, lovely. So um, that sounds ideal. Yeah, we get the old uh, get the old food revved up. Yep. So yeah, I'm going to get these in. Cool. We'll get next door. Get a bit of a camp set up ready because. Uh, I mean, it's, you know, getting on now, isn't it? Yeah, so, yeah, before we know yeah. it, it'll be dark, so I'd like to get some rods in the pond. That'll be first job, get the tents up, eat some food. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Let's go. Way. Right, you get them in. Cool. I'm going to go and get my kit up. Sorted. Oh, we need to pick swims. Are we doing that now? Well, might as well. And then I know where I'm going on this, that and the other. Well done. <sighs> Hold what's, on, what? What's the deal? What do you mean, what's the deal? So, I, if I get it, then I... Choose whatever side. Heads. Oh, Jesus, how is this happening? <laughs> Where are you going, on the right? On the right, mate. <laughs> on the right, mate. Are you going on the right, yeah? Yeah, I've gone the right. Cool, man. Right, let's go. This is the rig that's going to do the do, hopefully. Yeah, got a little shock lead system, little three ounce lead. Not, I don't want a big lead. Normally I'm quite a, you know, real big fan of uh, heavy leads. Not here, we're only fishing short range. 
So I've got a little lead, that's actually a flat lead. Obviously this is a distance type lead, but the reason why I've chose that is because um, if there's any silt out there, I just want that to sit down nice and not sink too far into the bottom. I've gone for a little reverse combi rig, white wafter, and then I've just got free bait stringer. I've wrapped around to stop that tangling, wrapped it around the rig ring on the shank of the hook. And then I've actually just squashed one of those boilies out the free in the bag. And that's it, yeah. Uh, I'd probably say that, well, I haven't used this rig for quite a long time actually, uh, just because a lot of my fishing um, is done sort of on gravel pits or long distance fishing. So it's actually quite, you know, it's quite nice to have a change. Um, didn't even have these in my rig box, I had to sit there and tie them up. But yeah, just fancied it, just something a little bit different. Yeah, ideal. Got two of these that I'm going to put on just a little, uh, a little bed of um, the crumbed up bug with a few beta stim pellets as well. I'm going to damp that down with a little bit of water just to make sure it gets, you know, gets nice to the bottom nice and fast. And that's it, a little white wafter over the top. Let's see how we get on. I'm putting two rods on this, quite tight. The, um, bait I'm going to keep real tight and then I've got one other rod that I'm going to chuck on the island in a minute which I'll show you in a minute. Yeah. Ready? Oh pressure's on. <laughs> How you getting on there mate? Wow. How you getting on there boy? How you getting on there mate? Yeah mate. Uh, for the viewers what happened there. Well, I just chucked out thinking I was at um, 11 wraps when I was at 12. <laughs> oh. So it was meant to be done. <laughs> Might fish for liners like you all nightly. Yeah. Yeah. This is the third rod. It's going to be the right hander, which I'm going to chuck up against the island. However, I'm a little bit concerned now because Mozza has just caught a one pound skimmer. And this to me looks absolutely ideal for a one pound skimmer. Um, but nonetheless, I'm going to give it my best. It could be a short lived <laughs> approach. Uh, I'm going to check this out. The only, uh, the only saving grace is that I'm chucking it up against an island and not in open water. Um, yeah. So this may be the last time you see this. This is going straight in the island, I guarantee it. Right, we got to get that barbecue on because I'm going to die. What's going on, Bart? Um, Well, you know, after uh, my latest winter series, catching catfish on St. John's, uh, hooking 10 in a night, I thought it can... Ah, oh, you're wiping me out. No. Stop. Oh, Bart, don't wipe me out. I can't see anything, Lee. What? I can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, mate. mate. How's it got you? <laughs> I get right on you. Whatever they're called. You're holding this up. I'm not. On. You are. Hey, you oh. never know. It could be the white lady. Yeah. Oh, they just get right on your nerves, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> if any, anyone watching this that fishes for catfish willingly, well. Be careful. Steve, your boss fishes for cats. Oh, that says it all. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean that says it all? <laughs> Carrie loves a cat. Uh, oh, yeah, I suppose. Oh, here we go. It's all changed now. The boss fishes for him. Yeah, but he fishes for sturgeon as well. <laughs> so we let him off. Who likes catching sturgeon? I mean, it's bad enough catching a night, let alone like catching one of these. Yeah, in the rain. Yeah. At night. It's not ideal, but. You watch it be about £12 as well. That's. Uh, there's just not a lot of need for that. <laughs> I'm gonna lose me brolly. <sighs> For Pete's sake. Pete's sake? Give peas a chance. Pete. Give Pete's a... <laughs> Pete's Who's going in for that then? You are. 
Are you joking? All right, let me just grab this net. No, that's my <laughs> net. Come away. Get your own net. <sighs> yeah, look, there he is. <laughs> See you, mate. That's a legend. Well done, Bart. Mint. 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 Meow. <laughs> 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 Well, good morning. Textbook start to the day. Got up, had a coffee, redid the rods, um, and yeah, literally just put the third rod out. This was the first rod I chucked out, just on a uh, on a stringer. And uh, yeah, this was away from where I uh, put any feed, just on its own, just a just a free bait stringer. And uh, yeah, it's gone. By the time we put the third rod out, literally wound all the rods in, put them up against Bivy, chucked them out. By the time I put the third rod out, this one was away. Yeah, it was a bit of a bit of a strange night last night, really. Why? Right. Night... <laughs> Where are you? It's just a bit of a strange heat, really. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it's just a bit, a bit strange night. Like, obviously, when I had a walk around yesterday morning, I spoke to a few of the guys opposite. They said there was a few uh, a few catfish getting caught or whatnot. And uh, yeah, true to form, we had a few catfish things they are. You love a catfish? I don't, not really. Oh, we got a common. Colin? Colin the common. Yeah, nice. Has he got rain all the time? Oh, he's all right. Nice. That'll do. Well, that is a lively carp. How angry. is he still lively? I know he's what proper angry. Right, you you take you you take the. Uh, oh well, I'll keep talking then. <laughs> You're boring anyway, but. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, about that for a brace of twenties, twenty-three and a half. This one. And this one went twenty-one. Nice. That will yeah. do. So I think the stringers is definitely the way forward. Yeah, yeah. For this at the moment, you know, it's taken a, a day or so to work that out, I guess. So yeah, I've been and slaughtered by the cats last night over bait. Yeah, I mean, it's still definitely worth trickling a little bit of bait in, but yeah, just maybe cut it pump. back, just yeah, catapult yeah. a few boilies in, yeah. um, and. You know, we've caught these since we caught the cats, so maybe the cats have moved off. Yeah, you know, like we've had five cats; they've like cleared off, and then yeah. obviously the carp has settled back down. Yeah, uh, yeah. I had it. I had it the other week on on St John's, and he's having a commotion with a catfish. It's just a thing that this time of year they're just mega active. Yeah. Um, just waking up like everything else. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but they've cleared off, and the carp has settled back down, and yeah. What, too nice to carp to catch. Yeah, mate, ideal. Lovely yeah. job there. I hope there's a few more of these today. That'd be wicked. Yeah, decent. They're not cold though, are they? No, no. they're warm. Warm, yeah. definitely. Yeah, I agree. Right, let's send these on their way. And let's hopefully catch a few more today. Nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Cats were, oh, here we go. Got a bite, got a bite. Look, look at that. Look, ripper. Oh, my God. Give me a train. I'll film you. Here you go. Right, there we go. Live bite. Oh, this has got tears written all over it. Right, well, I'm actually currently in the mi middle of multitasking at the moment. I'm meant to be doing a live feed on the Fox page. And, um, it, looks all right. it does look all right, doesn't it? And uh, and yeah, Bart's now holding the phone whilst I play one in at the minute. So it's all a little bit manic in the swim at the moment. And and yeah, unfortunately, um, we didn't get to film Bart, uh, Bart's last bite, which ended up being a bream for him. But yeah, he's ramped them back out. What's going on with that rod? Oh God! Royally wiped yourself out. Watching, this is the Fox RX Plus Alarm. Yeah, well done, Bart. <laughs> Keep doing it. 
so yeah as i say we're uh we are multitasking at the minute but it's there on the net so right we're back in control fred, fred wiping the me other strawberry water. blonde there mate so what fred reckons i'm strawberry blonde fred i'm flat out ginger <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's right, Ian. He is milking it. I'm milking it. Don't be giving me that. Don't be giving me grief. He's never seen nothing like it. Oh, we need to hit that GoPro for the bike. I've done it. Oh, you've well done, Al. There we go then, all 21 pounds of him. It was a little bit frantic, obviously, having to do that live feed and film this one coming in, but yeah, nice, ideal. He's got a few scales on him, this one. We've had a few different variety of fish this trip. We've had ghosties, commons, mirrors. This one's a linear. Would you call him a linear? He's getting there. He's getting there. He's a wannabe linear. So, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna see what the night brings tonight. The light's fading now. Hopefully there's not a load of catfish that are gonna move into the swim because that would be a nightmare. But if that's the case, then so be it. But wicked to be still getting bites from the swim using them stringers. Right, I'm gonna flop him back, get some grub on, wicked. Bar. Yeah, this month's tutorial has been an absolute great success. <laughs> yeah. Learns, Lee's learned and all manner of things from baiting, casting, <laughs> all different rigs. It's paid off and he's finally caught some fish. Yeah. How'd, you, how'd you feel? Well, yeah, it's been good. It's been good. At least I did have to pay for it this time. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, it's been a wicked trip, isn't it? Yeah, it's been good. You know, like certainly, I, I mean, if you're looking, you know, if you're looking to to catch a few twenty, some good fish. Like, you know, this, this venue in it, Topper, is a great Perfect. venue, some real big fish in here as well. Um, absolutely like classic for, for this. And yeah. yeah, it's been a right laugh, and it? We've had a good good yeah, social, yeah, been no, good to get good. out since yeah. the winter and yeah. finally get a few sort yeah. of thing. Yeah, it's been nice. So this one an ounce under £24. And uh, yeah, lovely way to finish this 3D trip. Don't forget to comment below uh, what bait you want us to use. Choose free products from the DNA Baits website. Look in the description, the link will be there to choose what bait we're going to use for the next trip out. And if we choose you, you will win that bait as well. So, all right, I think that's yeah. it. Got any more to add? No, not really. Martin, your bait will be in the post view. Um, yeah. On to the next one, I suppose. On to the next one. Enjoy your fishing. Take care.